Experiments with Chromium-6 Attention! Chromium-6 compounds are highly carcinogenic, so every contact with the human body has to be prevented. Sodium hydroxide solution and sulfuric acid are caustic. Hydrogen peroxide can cause severe eye damage. I don't take any responsibility for damage done to persons or property caused by the recreation of this experiment. This experiment is not useful for the preparation of solid chromates because of the high impurities and low concentrations. It is just useful for presentation. At first, 2 ml of a solution containing a chromium-3 salt with a concentration of 0.1 mol per liter are added to a test tube. Here potassium chromium-3 sulfate is used. Then 1 ml of 10% sodium hydroxide solution is added. At first, insoluble chromium-3 hydroxide is formed, which then dissolves as green hexahydroxidochromate 3. Then, 1 ml of 10% hydrogen peroxide is added. The chromium complex can be oxidized quite easily by hydrogen peroxide, which causes the formation of chromate 6. Next, the test tube is held in a beaker and closed with cotton wool, which will keep the aerosol in the tube that is formed in the following step. Then the beaker is filled with hot water. This speeds up the oxidation and the decomposition of excess hydrogen peroxide. The fizzing of the solution produces an aerosol that contains chromate. The cotton wool prevents the aerosol from leaking out of the test tube. I changed the water once. The reaction is finished when the formation of bubbles has settled, which takes about 10 minutes. The solution now contains the yellow chromate 6. Next the solution is acidified by adding 40% sulfuric acid. The orange dichromate is formed. In solution, chromate and dichromate exist in a chemical equilibrium which depends on the pH of the solution. Then a layer of ethyl acetate or diethyl ether is added on top of the dichromate solution. Now some of the 10% hydrogen peroxide is added again. The dichromate reacts with hydrogen peroxide to form the very unstable blue peroxo complex. The peroxo complex is soluble in ethyl acetate or diethyl ether and decomposes much slower in it. The solution below turns green because of the complex decomposing into a green chromium-3 compound and oxygen. When the solution is shaken, the blue color becomes more intense. Then the solution below contains only chromium-3 ions. When the organic solvent is left away, the complex decomposes immediately. This also happens when the solution is acidified before the hydrogen peroxide has decomposed completely. This was experiments with chromium-6. I hope you enjoyed. Please rate and comment.